Kakalos Boketov. We're continuing with the Alachot of, uh, of uh, Ben Hashmashot. Yesterday we spoke about the entire concept that there's going to be certain Alachot to do at twilight. That right after Shekiah, during Ben Hashmashot, is going to be certain Alachot. Here, Rav David Yosef comes and he says actually a chidush, and he says like this. If you're going to purchase a utensil from a goy, which means that you're going to go to a regular store and you're going to buy a, a utensil. Now you're not allowed to use it, obviously, until you do Tevilat Kelim. Now, even though, according to the Shulchan Aruch, it comes out according to the way that the, they're going to learn, we're going to try to explain, let's say a person did not do Tevilat Kelim on Friday, on Erev Shabbat, and now it comes out that Minhag of the Sfaradim in the Dota Mizrach is that you're allowed to do it even Lecha during Ben Hashmashot. So it comes out that after Shekiah, after sunset on Friday afternoon, I could run to the bay, or let's say I would be able to get into young Israel somehow, and I would go to the basement and do the Tevilat Kelim over there, and there wouldn't be a problem, or by the sea, whichever one that you want, right, you would be able to actually do um, Tevilat Kelim. According to the Minhag of the Ashkenazim, they should not do the Tevilat Kelim during Ben Hashmashot, and if they did do it, they're still allowed to come and they're allowed to use it on Shabbat. Now, even according to Minagat Sfaradim, there is a Midat Chassidut not to do it, but rather to give it as a present, and then afterwards to a Goy, and then afterwards to borrow it from the Goy. But again, Minkaradin, they're allowed to do that. Now, where does this exactly come from? So, we already said that Abraham comes, and he brings down as well. Now, the question that we ask ourselves is, okay, fine, that's to do with something which is Tameh, which is now becoming Tahor. Right? But the question now is, what happens in a case where right, it's not that way? Because, for example, here, when it's of the Goy, it's not that it's Tameh, now it's becoming Tahor. So how do we do it now with the new Keli? Not only that, right, there's many different reasons brought down right, in the Gemara. The reason of the Rava was that it looks like you're fixing something on Shabbat. But there were other reasons also brought down there in the Gemara. Whether it's because of Sechita, whether it's going to be other things also as well. So therefore, the question is, what exactly goes on? So therefore, he quotes the Shulchan Aruch in Siman Shin Kavkim and Sivzayim that you're allowed to do Tevilat Kelim on Shabbat, but we don't pass in like Rava. But then afterwards, Maran comes and he says, right, after bringing the Machloket and everything, Maran comes and he actually says, even though you're allowed to do it, he says that a person, some people say you're not allowed to do it, and the person says, Yeres Shamayim, you're going to come and you're going to give it to a Goy, and then you're going to get it back. So you do see from here that even according to the Stam of Maran and Shulchan Aruch, you're allowed to do Tevilat Kelim on Shabbat, and it's only because of your Mitat Chasidut that you won't do it, that you'll give it as a present, and then you'll be able to come, to come and uh, uh, borrow it back from the Goy and using it. Obviously, again, this is according to Shulchan Ruch, the Ramah was Machmir over there, and therefore, they wouldn't be able to do it during Ben Hashmashot.